Hello, class of upcoming sophomores, 2020-2021. I am Mr. McCulloch, and welcome to AP European History. In previous years, I always go into the classes of the freshmen, talk about my class, myself, cast, scheduling, you name it. Um, but obviously this year I couldn't, so I wanted to do a little video. It's really short, I'll try to keep it short and sweet. Well, let's talk about, let's talk about me. I'm Mr. McCulloch, I, I've been here at Hillsborough for about 14 or so years, um, and I'm excited for another, another year of teaching European history, AP European history. Um, I've had great success throughout the years of getting my kids pa to pass. You know, my pass rates usually range anywhere between 75 and 90 some odd percent passing my class or passing the AP exam. So with that said, um, let's talk about the class. The class is considered one of the hardest AP courses that you could take. Um, we offer it in sophomore year because you guys are the best of the best of Hillsborough County. So, um, you know, we think you could handle it. If you go to other schools like Steinbrenner or something, um, you, you would have this course as an elective in senior year. Okay, but you guys can handle it in sophomore year. I know because I've heard a lot of good things about you guys. Um, the course ranges from 1450 to 2010, and it covers a lot of different topics from all over Europe and the world. My goal in this is to basically figuratively hold your hand throughout the course to make you understand the information, analyze the information, and use it for essays and, um, um, and multiple choice for the test as well as just to have a greater appreciation for art, for history, for culture um, that we're gonna be studying. Now, um, like I said, it is a difficult course, not gonna lie, okay, but it's doable. If you ask the upperclassmen, I kind of try to make it as doable as possible, okay? The summer assignment that you've received is basically the, the amount of work that you'll have on any given unit, okay? And each unit's about three weeks long. So that's about as much work as you're gonna have in a three week period. With me, I do not um, assign things usually like that are due the next cycle. I usually give you several cycles to do most assignments. So it, it behooves you to really figure out your, your schedule and to manage your time wisely. Now, um, there, the, the summer assignment is divided up into three sections, Middle Ages, Exploration and Renaissance. The first section of the Middle Ages is basically the section that is kind of like a bridge between freshman year and sophomore year. I'm not sure how well you've gotten the information um, through the e-learning, through your, your history teachers, or if you've even gotten to that section. So just to be on the safe side, I kind of added that section to, um, to your summer reading because you, you cannot understand what happens in the Renaissance without understanding what happens in the Middle Ages leading up to the Renaissance. Now, um, with that said, um, you know, please, when you're answering the questions, do not go great, do not go like in great detail, answer the question with some detail. You don't need to rewrite the textbooks. That's just crazy. Um, I want quality, not quantity. Now, um, the Renaissance section and exploration will be a little bit, will be a little bit lengthier than the middle ages. If you do have any questions while doing your summer assignment, just please feel free to contact me. The email's on your summer assignment. It's mr.mikulik, M-I-K-U-L-E-C, dot I-B at gmail.com, but it's on there, so, so you could just reach me there. Um, along with that, um, if uh, also CAS. CAS, remember, I'm in charge of CAS for freshmen and sophomores. Please, if you any hours that you've done, any activities that you've done for freshman year, get it done. Put in your, your reflections that answers the six or eight questions that are listed. Um, if it's creative, make sure you have a picture for the creative product as well, um, as well as um, for any activity that is longer than one day, you have your time logs all posted in the reflection section. Okay, let's let's get that done. Uh, CAS is, re, is a requirement. You have to have CAS done by, by April of um, sophomore year. So you need to have 10 creative hours, 10 action hours, and 25 service hours with an extra five hours anywhere, okay? If, if possible, get as much done during the summer um, so that you're, you don't have to worry about it during sophomore year, okay? Also, last thing, I'm also in charge of scheduling for sophomores. 
if you if you see any issues or you have any questions about scheduling or you want to add or delete a class that you that you might want or don't want anymore just let me know again by email lastly i have some videos for you just below this of a little preview of, of ap european history as well as some uh study guides for um this first unit for the first reading so with that said i'm excited to see you guys i can't wait to um to august hopefully we're back in the classroom till then bye